Hello family and thank you for stopping by the house tonight. Okay, we're going to get right on into the story that Celebrity Insider brought out on their blogging site. And of course, Dylan Fisher is the correspondent journalist who wrote out the article titling it, Nene Leak says, F, can you more for this reason? Real Housewives of Atlanta fans must accept this new reality between the ladies. And I'm like, what reality is that other than they going to go be like cat and mouse, mouse and cat. Um, they going to be catty with each other. They going to be petty with each other. There's nothing new under the sun that is actually happening with them other than their tirade that they have for each and every one of their sidebars they have with one another. They can't stand each other and that's where it's going to be. It makes the um, franchise money. It makes them money. So why not go on and let half? Okay, that's just my sidebar. Getting into uh, Dylan's article. It said, it is now official. Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore will never be friends. And it is a reality that the Real Housewives of Atlanta fans must accept. Well, I don't know who haven't accepted that. I've come to terms with it. And I'm pretty sure my family over here at the Family Affair, my co-hosts, they feel the same. Hey, everybody have their expressions. Everybody love who they want to love. Uh, of the cast of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They ride hard for whoever they love, whether we talk about Candy, whether we talk about Kenya, whether we're talking about Nene, whether we're talking about Portia, Marlo, Shamia, or even Tanya Sands, okay? Everybody got their favorite. And in my eyes, every last one of them can get it, depending on how they're acting, okay? I'm not biased, okay? I'm not biased by a long shot. But anyway, when I see mess just keep coming up with one particular person all the time, which is Kenya Moore, of course, we just have to go in and let have. That's it. That's it. But anyway, getting back to the article, it says, in a preview of the new episode of the reality TV series, the cast took a trip to Greece with Cynthia Bailey, tried to get Kenya and Nene to play nice and fail. Nene called Kenya rude for refusing to accept her advice on how to save her marriage and get her husband, Mark Daly, back into her life. Now I'm like, Nene, you, no. <laughs> You are not the justice of the peace, and you're not a mediator, and you're not a counselor. And we know Greg just follow you. Uh, if you want to go off a cliff, he will go right behind you, baby. You, we know he is senior citizen's life, and he just trying to get in where he can fit in. So, no, we don't need you to be giving Kenya any marital advice, okay? Because it's just going to go south. You're not the poster child of Having a really good, solid marriage. You, no, you're not the one, Nene. So we're going to need you to sit down, play nice, and look pretty, okay? But don't get no advice because none is needed. All right? If Kenya had any sense, she'll just go on and fake, fictitiously divorce her husband and move on. Because she's so solely from, she said, got a million dollar business with Kenya Moore, uh, Kenya Moore Hair Products. She can do well, co-parent, and go on into life and live it full, fully and flourish from it. Okay, she don't need more. She just has him as a storyline. And when she gets tired, she's going to throw him away just like a ball of trash. Okay, back to the story at hand. It says, um, an angry nanny said, can you snow up me at the table? twice she thought she would get under my skin you didn't get under my skin girl she's really a sad woman because it takes nothing to say thank you for at least trying well nene it seemed like she did get up under your skin baby because she's talking about it anybody such as myself and any other ogs we don't care if people don't like us we don't care if people talk about us we do what we got to do we show up show out and we move on that's it. We be in our own little lane, our own little world. We tunnel vision. We only see what we trying to get, okay? Not trying to see what other people are doing. Not trying to see how people are getting ahead of us or behind us or getting up on us. We don't look for none of that. We just live and do us. And everything is always happy in the land, okay? Just my sidebar. Moving back to the article. Um, she said she added, I put all of our drama aside and as a married woman and as a woman who has been through things in her marriage, I just, I just wanted, wait a minute, I wanted to just really give her real advice. F Kenya, be clear, F 
Kenya and her bad skin. Okay. Now I'm like, okay, since we said the F word, do we have to go in and dig a little deeper and, and bring out the lady's acne problems? I mean, come on, Nene. That even really, that's really not even a shade, okay? You're getting pretty dry, Nene. We need you to pull up. We need you to sit down, hydrate yourself, and st just be quiet. We're putting you over there with Cynthia. Just look pretty and be quiet because, mm-mm, you ain't, mm-mm, mm-mm, that no, that was not a read when you went for her bad acne, okay? Oh, that's just piss poor judgment and you didn't have nothing really to say so you just thought you would let something fly out your mouth. No, that's not what OGs do. When we speak, everybody listen and we want to make sure everybody gets what we have to say. They digest it and take for take it, go forth and be great with the advice. Okay, but that little advice you try to give and then try to shade it with talking about her skin, that didn't fly. Mm -mm, it it flatlined. Flatlined, okay? Going back to the article, it said, in a recent interview with Kenya, she bash Nene's advice by saying you're just making up with people because you have to because you have no one else to film with or nothing else to do you know now see sidebar with Kenya Kenya you're going tit for tat you playing like we're in nursery school and you know we got the mean club over him we got the uh any kind of people over here and you with the popular crew so you're gonna be having mean girl spirit so you're gonna say oh come hang with us you don't want to hang with her because she got this this that and that going on and we don't get with that so come on over girl this is not how uh well it is hollywood holly weirdwood but it's not high school this is not pre-k and this definitely ain't grammar school so get with it can you okay we ain't playing your little tricks of the trade either okay like i'm more fabulous i'm more twirling let's come between team tour come on over here and and this nene and the og side they all too dried up and, and pruned out okay i like girl i can't i can't with you either can you tonight either okay but it's going back to the article it says i just think that she's always been very intimidated by my presence on the show if you watch who it really is you will see that she extreme she is extremely intimidated jealous and envious whatever you want to call it of my presence on the show and i have to say both of y'all seem like y'all are jealous and envious of each other both of you all are intimidated by each other Kenya, you want to succeed, Nene, by being the HBIC younger version. But you got Candy co to contend with either. But we know how you get down. You'll be done slapped her to the side and claim your fame. But Nene is the OG in her eyes. And she's not going anywhere in, anytime soon. So she's not going to be replaced. And if she had to choose her replacement, it definitely would not be you. Okay? But anyway, going back to the article. Um... It says, uh, Nene also spoke about the fact that she wanted to spit on Kenya. I don't even know what was going through my mind at that moment, but what I do know is I didn't spit on her, but I sort of kind of wish I had. I'm just going to be honest about that because I just think some of the things Kenya says is really nasty and really dirty. And I just feel like, girl, you are just, you probably need to be spit on. You, you just probably need to be. And it may not sound great, but she probably needs to be spit on. And I have no sympathy for her. I just don't. Okay? Those two keep fans talking. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And that was the end of that article. So, I'm like, it's just refurbished stuff. Things we all really know about how these two get down. Especially Candy and Kenya. Because we know Nene is lot loaded and ready to spray with Marlo. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a good lineup between the two. But um, it's just jealousy and bullying of the Illuminati Queens. This is what they do. They want to be self-serving of themselves. They want to love on themselves. They idolize themselves. So, <laughs> what other destruction can happen but they self-destruct themselves, okay? But that's how I feel about this particular um, response to an article that Celebrity Insider put out for our enjoyment pleasure or our drama field pleasure. What do my co-hosts as a family feel about what was displayed? Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know. And of course, you know I love you all to the core. And I will see y'all next video. But continue bringing more family over to the house so they can get in where they fit in. 
make interactions, make friends, make foes, however it goes. Just be respectful. That's all we ask in the family affair. Well, you guys to go, okay? But anyway, continue to come over, like I said, interact with one another, drop down your opinions, your, um, what do you call it, um, uh, your viewpoints from your perspectives and definitely keep sharing my videos or our videos I should say because you all are my co-hosts y'all get in those comments and we just rock it together uh, and keep liking the videos and I will see y'all next time on Family Affair Dev Chanel's 40s world guys see you later